Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Y'all hear that music? That's manifesting music. It's for healing. It's for pent up emotions. It's for removing negative blockages. It's for cleansing your home, all of that. And yesterday, <laughs> like I go on these, these cleaning sprees. Like I clean like I'm a, like you know how people come and clean your house? Like I clean like that at least once a month. And I've been doing that lately. So I woke up cleaning again this morning, guys. But usually when I clean like this, I turn this on, but I play it through like one of the boom speakers and just let it play throughout the house for like however long you're cleaning or whatever, just makes you feel good. So, but anyway, that's that. I'll leave the link below so you could listen to it. But I'm bringing back out our ancestors. I think it's time. It's We need our ancestors back. We need their energy, guys, because they've been here. They've already crossed over. They have the knowledge. They can see what we can't see. We're going to call on our ancestors, your guardian angels, and any other spirits that you want. <laughs> Put all white light, right? All right, guys, let's grab see what we get this morning. I'm going to turn this down a little bit so I don't have to scream. If I can get it to turn down. If it, there we go. Ooh, I'm going to keep it on 11. Isn't that something? All right, guys, let's get it. Calling on your ancestors, guys. What knowledge do your ancestors have? Talk to them, guys. They can give you knowledge. They can give you guidance. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, ancestors, please come through. What messages do you have for your loves? What messages do your ancestors have for you? You passed over loved ones. It could be your mother, your father, your friend. It could be an ex-lover. It could be a child. It could be a baby that you lost. Anybody. Call on their energy, guys, if you want. Ask them what's going on. What's going on? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors. They are here. Let's get it. Ancestors already at work. Material and spiritual prosperity. You are balanced in both material and spiritual prosperity. This is the number six. This means in life, like in the material world, you have everything you need. You have more than enough. Whatever enough is to you, you have more than enough. If you're living out, if you're living in a shoebox, it's enough, because you're balanced with your spirituality. So you're at peace. You're at peace with who and where you are right now in your life, and because of it, it's like your spiritual prosperity is just growing. It's growing. It's growing. You're becoming more spiritual. Becoming more spiritual because you're open. You're open to receiving. What else, ancestors? Ooh. Memories of love. Guys, this is another six. So, you could be thinking about a past love. You could be thinking about uh, what love feels like. You could be thinking about, oh, when I see this person, it's going to be like this. Maybe you're thinking about something in your past, a past loved one. But whoever it is, you, you hold this person close to your heart. Like, look, you cup them. They're in your hand. You keep them close to your heart. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Look at that. Ancestors. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Two, the waiting game. All right, guys, so if this was numerology, this is a six, that's 12, that's 14. 14 takes it down to a five. So this is change. I don't know all the numbers in numerology, but I do know some. I'm getting better. I'm getting better, Spirit said. <laughs> We're all a work in progress, right? All right, so with that, I'm going to add some angel oracles. 
since we're here, right? Let's get some guidance. Angel Oracle guidance. Ancestors. These are messages from your guardian angels. And your ancestors are going to help them deliver these messages. You got your tag team, but you got your guardian angels and your ancestors today. You are covered, you are balanced, you are protected. One, <clears throat> you need to work on trusting yourself and in believing in your ability to succeed. It's the right time in your life to begin a new venture or shift to a new career. Stay positive and forge ahead with bravery. The angels are telling you to whatever it is you have on your mind, whatever it is that you're working on, you have the ability to do it. It's the right time to do it. Begin that new venture, guys, whatever it is. Step out on your faith. Number seven, a time for quiet and rest. If you have a chance to take a trip or spend time enjoying your own company, do it. You'll feel restored and your boosted vibration will realign you with your life purpose. Spirit is telling you to go within, guys. Your guardians are telling you. Your ancestors are telling you. You need to go within. Spend some time with yourself. Get the answers you need. You know, enjoy your own company. You know, get a book. Start writing. Like, get a journal or something. Just write every day. Write down what you're thankful for. Eight three eight. Suggest that your ascended masters and your angels connect with your spirituality and inner wisdom in order to give you guidance, support, and love along your path. Use your creativity in a constructive and productive manner and use your skills and talents to work towards and achieve your heart desires. All right, guys. It says use your heart desires to get what you want. All right, guys. So there's this waiting game. However, you have the memories of love. When it comes to your material life and your spiritual life, you're balanced. There's a waiting game. Spirit wants you to work on trusting yourself. There's a time for quiet. Take a trip. Even if it's just a, even if it's just a mind trip, you know? Take yourself there. Use your inner wisdom. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify these messages for the collective. That was a quiet flip. It said, hey. <laughs> the lovers because you have material and spiritual wealth it's like spirit is bringing you in this love now like the waiting game is here the waiting game could be over spirit just wants you to trust and believe in yourself trust and believe that whatever you want can happen just Spirit wants you to believe. Nine of Pentacles. Look at you. You're blossoming. You're like a peacock. You're about to spread those feathers. You're Nine of Pentacles. You're sitting in your glory. I told you, you have everything you need materially. You just want love. Wants you to focus on yourself. Don't focus on love. Focus on yourself, and the love will come. I think that's what I'm hearing here. Yep. Spirit said, "Focus on yourself." This is three of pentacles. Focus on yourself. Work on yourself. Build yourself. Love will come. There's lovers here. It's already present. Spirit just wants you to do you. Spirit wants you to do you and let love creep in. Let love creep in and shock the hell out of you. Yeah. Spirit say you the star. You don't have to want for nothing. People are wanting you. You need to know where you are. Place yourself in your own life. You're the star. You're the star. Switch the narrative, right? You're the star of the show. The 
Hierophant. You want a union. You know what you want. You wide awake. Your third eye is open. You're not going to settle for less. Because you're balanced. You're balanced spiritually. Like you know what you want. You're not going to settle. So whoever comes in for you better come correct because you're not settling for a thing. You're wide awake to this. You're wide awake to who you are. Like nothing can shake you now. Like you know, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. You wide awake. Wide awake. <laughs> the magician in reverse. Can't no games be played. You are the magician in your own life. Someone tried it. They could have. But you're pulling that power back. You're the magician in your own life. What else? Eight of Pentacles. You're busy working. You're focusing on you. You're focusing on your job. You're focusing on your family, your career. You're busy. It's like you're dipping in and doing it. You got your back turned to the BS, to anything that doesn't serve you. You have your back turned to it. Spirits have focused on yourself, and you are. Maybe you went and bought a canvas. Maybe you just started painting. You know, we are in COVID. People were trying new things all the time. Maybe you just started painting. And, and it worked, you know? You'd be the next Picasso. Don't even know it. So all you got to do is draw some lines and some three dots. And they'd be like, oh my God, what is that? What were you thinking? And then you'd be like, COVID. And all you got is three, three stripes and a dot and some flings like that. And they'd be like, oh my God, that's like... Oh my God, you know, that's art. <laughs> they said, well, are you angry? You'd be like, no, it's COVID. I was stressed the fuck out. So I flung my brush <laughs> and that's what you got. But you know what? That's art. That's art. And you called it COVID. All right, guys. So while you over there doing your art, there's a king of swords in the background in their mind thinking about you. You know, thinking of you as this art. Maybe they see you as art. Let's see what else we have. Six of Swords. Okay. So this King of Swords here, he's swimming away to common waters. And see, I told you, while you busy working with your back turn, he's coming in on a sneak tip. Come through, ancestors. Tell us. <laughs> Come through. You better call on him. Come through. Mm -hmm. Come through. So, Knight of Cups. This person may be thinking about a proposal. Or a proposal of some kind. Not necessarily a ring. Just to establish something. Just to say, hey. Are we doing this? Are we in a couple? What are we doing? What are we doing? Hey, they're going to talk about it. Maybe you're going to have a drink of wine when you talk about it. Yes, you're going to talk about it. This person made a decision. They're not confused anymore. The decision has been made. And they're going to tell you in this conversation here. Yes, judgment. They made a decision. Hello, ancestors. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Two of Cups. Yep, this person is coming to confess. <laughs> you don't even see it coming because you're busy working. This person loves you. This person wants to clink their cup with your cup and be like, clink, two of Cups. They want to do this. Let me show you. No, here you go. No, where is it? There you go. That yeah, clinked your glass, damn it. <laughs> I had to get that glass down, you know? <laughs> it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles. This is your gift. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave this here. Cause y'all know me in long videos. I don't like long videos. I be looking at it, I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords. 
Your person is coming in. You got the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. The King of Swords is swimming away to common waters, bringing in a Knight of Cups with him. He's proposing something to you. He's letting you know that he made a decision within his judgment, and he wants to offer you this Two of Cups. All right, guys. So these are messages from your ancestors and your angels. They came through. Because you are ready, you are balanced materially and spiritually in your life. Prosperity has been coming in for you. Now it is time for love to come in for you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.